Hi, this is Aaron with PhotoshopDemos.com, and I wanted to show you a little bit about um, working with some of the layer properties and what that can do. So, the first thing I'm going to do is, as you can see on here, some of the shapes that I've made. I'm going to show you how that's done. Basically, once you create your shape tool, you can use any of these options up here, depending on the type of layer or shape that you want to. And, th and this particular one here, which is called, uh, if you roll over, it says Shape Layers. It's going to create a shape actually on a brand new layer. So every time I use that tool over here in my layers palette, you'll see that it makes a new layer for that particular shape. So if I change this to green and then I create another shape here, oops, I'm going to change it over here actually. Bring that up. And you'll see now that I have a green layer. So the nice thing about these is I can kind of scroll through each one of these layers here and I can decide to change the color um, just by clicking in that box there and then I can click and move these around because if you use the other tool if you use this one here it's going to actually create and you can only create shapes on the current layer you'll see that it's not creating new layers it's actually just adding them to the same solid background layer so I'm just gonna use um, a white here switch that and then alt delete on my keyboard and, and it's gonna just fill up that background so I'm just gonna work with these three layers right here my uh, green my dark red and then my brighter red color and just a quick thing if you don't have auto select on which will basically allow you to switch in between layers very quickly. Um, that automatically selects each of these layers. Whereas if I had that turned off, it's not going to be able to just move around. It's only going to move the layer around that is currently selected, which is my bright green layer. So then I would have to actually come over here to my layers menu and switch that one on in order to move that around because without doing that I wouldn't be able to select it so I turn on auto select and now I can switch between these very rapidly okay now one other thing is if you don't have that turned on you can use control on your keyboard to basically do the same thing so control is kind of like a toggle um, to turn that feature on and off kind of rapidly so if you don't want to accidentally move things around while you're working you can kind of just leave that alone but then if you decide to rather than actually turn that button on you can just use the control key on your keyboard and um, that will give you the same type of effect alright so moving on the next thing I want to show you is if you double click in this blue area just ignoring like the other effects and the other like little shapes and things in here just double click the actual layer and you'll get your layer styles and your layer styles is just an uh, an extra menu that will allow you to do things like uh, inner glow, drop shadow, inner shadow. So you can kind of see up here what's going on. And you can actually do some really really cool 3D effects with this specific tool, um, especially when you get into using some other shapes and some different things. Um, you can use it to create some inner glows like this. And this is really cool too for when you're trying to design uh, like let's say buttons for the internet um, anything for a website you can kind of use this pretty quickly to create some button looking type of effects so um, you know play around with this see what each of them do if you want to use this you can also do a color overlay pretty quickly change up the color and the nice thing is you have all your blending modes right inside this palette too so you can also mix some of the colors as well so if you want to mix this purple with what's currently there you can use some of these different um, modes to switch between and then you can also change the opacity and the same thing for the gradient overlays if you want to do a quick gradient on one of the buttons you can do that as well um, you have things like your linear your radial gradient all that stuff here um, reflected if you want to get more of a reflected type of look and then just by clicking the color you get this option menu here where you can go in and get um, some preset gradients if you use this little arrow over here you can actually load some of the additional gradients that Photoshop has if you do a pend 
it's going to add it to the current list or OK will just replace what's currently there and then you'll be able to select from those gradients so once you select the gradient that you like or if you've created one your own you can use the scale to also change the size of that gradient up and down if you want to leave the existing color underneath um, you can additionally change the blend mode again to something else so that original green color that I had I'm still applying this metallic look over top of it but I'm actually just changing the blending mode to get the right type of effect and if you if you just hit your down arrow you can scroll through each of the particular um, blending modes so that's just a quick little tip play around with some of this stuff and um, again hope you enjoyed that little tutorial play around with all those blending modes and also the different shape layers auto select see what works best for you thanks for watching this is Aaron from photoshopdemos.com